Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that uh, which softwares we are going to use to develop our API and write the code for our API. Okay, so first is VS Code, right? So I will give you this link in the description. You can download this code editor from this website. And also I will recommend you to use this uh, software because this uh, ext this software has many extensions which can make our work more easy okay and coming towards next software which is uh, postgresql database okay and we are going to use this as our primary database so let's say download postgresql all these links i'll give in a description so it would be more easier to download for you okay then from here you can download the database okay download the latest version so you don't face any error all right now after installing this both softwares come to vs code right i mean open the vs code i have already installed and set up this vs code so i am not going to do that again okay and also i have created one folder which is django underscore rest underscore api so you can create um the folder and open that folder in vs code right so if you want to open folder in vs code you can simply follow the steps which i am following so first open the folder where you have uh, you know created that folder just open that folder right click here and write cmd and write one command which will say code space dot and hit enter it will open vs code for you and another thing is like if you right click and click on more options if you have windows 11 then you will see one option here says open with vs code okay so you can use that option too all right so after doing this come to extensions section okay now here i will say python and here you need to install this python uh, sorry not this environment yeah this python extension pack okay just install this whole package it is very useful uh, for writing python code then we have rapid api again this is one another extension which is very useful to send request to our api and get response right um we would use this uh, postman but it would be more you know software changing thing so i don't like that uh, we already have one advanced option in vs code to send requests so why don't we use this right and this is new and very helpful extension okay after doing this you must have you know any browser like edge or chrome okay just to see the responses right okay so once all this thing is done um i mean all the installation of extensions and all just pause the video if you have left all this all those steps okay and then follow these steps which i am following now so we are going to create project of for the django but before that i will create an environment variable so i'll say python and let us zoom a bit okay I'll say python hyphen m um, v e n v e n v so for ubuntu users you need to install v e n v um, by your own because it don't comes along with uh, this package right this thing so you need to install by your own and then only you will be able to perform this command and for windows users your work is very easy just write this command okay now i will just activate this environment and i will say pip install django then django rest framework and what else yeah these two packages for now okay so this has been installed now i will create one project so i'll say django hyphen admin start 
project and uh, the project name will be blog underscore rest underscore api and i will give space and give dot okay so let me tell you one thing if you are you know following the step which i have shown like creating a folder name blog underscore rest underscore api and uh, then you are creating this um, project then just write this dot otherwise it is going to give you three folders so let me show you if i hit enter without giving dot then you can see i got one blog underscore rest underscore api folder and then inside that i got another rest blog underscore rest api folder which i don't want okay so i'll just simply delete this because this might be quite confusing for you and it is confusing for me too honestly okay so i'll just delete this and i will run that command again and give dot so it will just skip that parent folder and give you the main folder right so this is now much easier to access and view right so after doing that let's create app so i'll say python manage.py start app and here i will say blog underscore app okay and i will create one more app which will be account done now after doing this let's go to uh, settings.py and in this install underscore app section we will write account and here i will say blog underscore app okay done now after doing this let's create two file like first file in account let's create urls.py okay and uh, inside blog underscore app let's create that same file okay now once this is done just leave it empty don't do anything and uh, we are done for today's video okay so in next video we are going to you know return simple json response which says hello world okay in um i'm going to do that because i want to show you how the json response looks like in uh, the browser okay but before ending this video let me go to chrome and say uh, chrome web store we are going to install one extension from the chrome web store i'll say json and uh, json formatter okay and just download this extension from the chrome i will give this link in the description okay so this makes json responses uh, more clearly visible okay this extension is also very helpful so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you